The tennis lesson you will observe is unrehearsed and shot live. This lesson is a review of skills students learned earlier in the tennis unit. Stations are set up around the teaching area so that students can practice skills in a self-directed setting. Observe the master teacher and how he organizes and manages students. Pick one up. Show me three and three. Three air, three floor. Also note that the lesson plan uses a four-part format so that students are warmed up, participate in fitness activities, practice skills, and finish playing a game to apply their skills. The introductory activity takes two to three minutes to deliver at the start of the lesson. The purpose of this part of the lesson is to have the opportunity to manage the class and get them ready for further instruction. A class that is well managed at the start of the lesson will be better managed at the end of the lesson. There are many different types of introductory activities that can be used to start a lesson. The fitness portion of the lesson takes seven to eight minutes and is designed to offer students a balanced fitness routine. The goal is not to work students as intensely as possible, but rather to teach them that fitness helps you play sports better. Cultivate a positive attitude towards fitness activities by encouraging students to do their best. Avoid the practice of asking all students to reach one standard, for example, 30 push-ups. Students vary dramatically in the ability to perform fitness tasks. Allow them to make choices about fitness and to focus on doing their best. The lesson focus offers students time to learn and practice skills. It is the instructional part of the lesson and it continues for 15 to 20 minutes. The lesson focus should be a balance of instruction and practice. The goal should be to teach students the basics of skill performance tempered by realistic expectations about your ability levels. Fostering the enjoyment of tennis play is much more important than worrying about the level of performance students are reaching. Station teaching signs allow students to practice in a self-directed mode so the teacher can work and review skills with individual students. Even though students will work independently or with a friend, it is important to observe and visit all the stations to help maintain order and a safe environment. The game activity takes five to seven minutes and offers students an opportunity to apply the skills they have learned during the lesson focus. Offer students a modified game that will make it easy for them to play successfully and to develop perceived confidence. Students are playing mini tennis in this lesson. Encourage students to modify the game in ways that increase their enjoyment. The experience should be a positive one that leaves them feeling up about tennis. When you get to four points, the first person to gets to four, that person will move on and play a different person. So you're gonna move this direction, okay? In a big oval, the person that gets to four, la persona que llegue a cuatro, es la persona que se mueve. So if I get to four points, if I'm playing a game with Genesis, and I get to four points before her, Genesis will stay, and I'll move over to this game here. All right, and we'll move over so that there's a person moving each time, okay?